kerajaan memutuskan untuk melaksanakan perintah kawalan pergerakan. Malaysia is reimposing a full lockdown. Traditionally a symbol of surrender, but in Malaysia, a white flag has come to signify a cry for help. But is this just a drop in the ocean? Each day, 16 million plastic bottles are thrown away in the Environmental pollution contributed to the deaths of about 9 million people. In Hello everyone, welcome to Coolest Projects Malaysia 2021. Today, I'm going to share with you about my innovation project called Recycle for Food. Recycle for Food is a hybrid kiosk consists of recycling vending machine and food bank. After 18 months under some form of COVID-19 lockdown, the average Malaysian is struggling to make ends meet. A system was limited and difficult for the B40 community to access. Malaysians have come out with a self-initiative campaign, the White Flag Movement, to help the needy. Food banks appear across the country for anyone who needed them. While providing help to those who are suffering, it is important to maintain their dignity and make them believe that they could still contribute to the communities. Hence, I come up with the idea of recycling for food kiosk, where one need to recycle items through the machine to get food packed from the food bank. This is the block diagram of the kiosk. Here are the hardware used in the project. ADUB is the backbone system which holds microbit and connect peripherals. Microbit process input signals and perform operation as per code program. IR sensor to sense the input of recycled item and send signal to microbit. Servo motor will open the food bank storage once condition met. Makecode is the software used to run simulation and program the microbit. IR sensor is connected to digital read pin P8 when it sends three inputs. Microbit will activate servo motor to turn 90 degree to open door. After 3 seconds, servo motor will back to original location. In actual application, the recycle for food kiosk will be installed at easily access public places such as supermarket, petrol station or neighborhood community centers such as this. This is how the kiosk operates. First, drop recycle items such as drinking can into the recycle slot. After three cans have been collected, the food bank storage door will be opened. Take one food pack from the food bank. There are two main challenges that I face while working on this product. At first, ultrasonic sensor was used to detect the recycle item, but the sensitivity is low. Therefore, I changed to IR sensor which is more sensitive and stable. Another challenge is the food bank container door. The first prototype used plastic food pack cover as door. Servo motor vibrates due to imbalance weight. I then changed to cardboard which is lighter and this material changes solve the problem. For future development of this kiosk, there are a few improvements that can be made such as to have a built-in food bank storage in the kiosk. Secondly, to have camera to monitor the kiosk usage and for security purposes. Last but not least, to develop and integrate mobile apps with the kiosk so that we could track the food bank inventory and restock it on time. The apps can also trigger the recycling company to collect the recycled item once the bin is almost full. I hope you all enjoy my sharing today. Stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you. We make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give.